Hi, my name is Judy Van Coyman, and you're watching Life Issues. And November's show is about the Joint Committee for Children's Health Care. And my guest is Sandra Martins. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you're, you for having me. It's well, a pleasure being here. Thank you. You're very welcome. My pleasure, too. Sandra, how long have you been with JCCHC? Um, I've been with JCCHC -E, um, since March 2010, so a little bit over 10 years um, wow. with, you know, with the company. So you must really like what you do. And yes, yes, it's wonderful, you know, able to help, you know, families and um, individuals to, you know, um, find and uh, enroll in uh, health mm -hmm. coverage. Okay. And um, it's really, you know, good Good for me yeah, <laughs> to good. be able to assist, you know, families and individuals. Yeah. And what yeah. is your title? Um, a, a navigator uh, and also outreach specialist. Okay, what yeah. does the navigator do? Uh, oh, we, our mainly grant is with the Health Connector and uh, um, we help people navigate the system through the portal to apply for health insurance. And, uh, and it's based on that income, the family size, the eligibility, you know, and um, that either they fall into the Affordable Care Act, which is the, um, um, I don't know, it's like the Obamacare, they used to say the Obamacare, mm -hmm, right, or either yeah. um, uh, Mass Health. But it, it has a table that, you know, it depends on, on the eligibility, it depends on the family size, the family on the income, and that's what uh, I mainly do. It's assisting people enroll for health insurance, renew their health insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what um, you already told um, the audience what you, your title consists of. So that's very important too. That's I a know, lot of, especially lot on your plate. yeah. I know yeah. a lot on the plate, especially now. We know we uh, through the pandemic, a lot of people losing their mm, jobs. Right. And uh, um, the main concern, you know, with the income change and you know uh, sometimes the spouse is the one that used to provide the health insurance and now they are no longer working so mm. you know we've been very busy you know helping yeah. our families and individuals you know yeah. to apply for health insurance yeah, tough times yeah. for everybody it i know it is it is hopefully it's the new <laughs> yeah exactly uh, and how long has the Joint Committee for Children's Health Care been in existence? Oh, my goodness. Uh, this month, um, um, actually, you know, um, October, um, we um, celebrate our anniversary. Uh, we are celebrating 26 years. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunately, we do have a big event every year. In, mm -hmm. uh, in in October mm -hmm. last year we had our twenty uh, fifth anniversary which we celebrated at the Sonesta Hotel in Cambridge it was a big turnout but unfortunately due to the uh, the pandemic this year we're not going to be able to um, have a big event right. yeah mm. unfortunately yeah. you know um, well, hopefully you can postpone it and have it yeah mm. yeah but at uh, twenty six years yeah well I congratulations know. oh thank you thank you. <laughs> And what is your mis mission statement? Uh, we, from you know, the Joint Committee for Children's Health Care, uh, we firmly uh, believe that uh, people should have access to affordable, uh, you know, appropriate health coverage. That's mainly uh, what we do there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, help people navigate through the system. You know, to apply for health insurance, and um, you know, it's a one big mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, for children, so what age can a child apply for health insurance? Um, um, you know, with the um, system now that we have the um, kids under 26, if they still with the parents in their oh. taxes, it goes, you know, uh, with the... Um, Income taxes, let's say, you know, I'm a parent, I'm divorced, and I'm the one that claim um, little Joe. And so if you can have little Joe in the taxes and little, you know, we they can apply uh, for, you know, little Joe to have the health insurance. Mm -hmm. um, if, um, you know, according to your taxes. So if the family 
let's say I'm 19 and I'm already on my own, so I can apply for my own health insurance. But mm -hmm. to be on the, the health insurance, you have to at least be 19 years old, you know, to apply through, unless you know, emancipated or something, then you can apply on your own. But other than that, usually 19 is the cutoff you know, and then you can start applying your own or unless you, with your parents under that taxes, you have to apply, you know, uh, based on that income. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what does the JCCHC do? Uh, like I said before, you know, we uh, mainly um, help people apply, uh, renew the health insurance, uh, enroll in, in a new health insurance uh, with, you know, Mass Health, Health Connector, and, and of course it depends, you know, your federal poverty level if it goes above 400%, which we have a chart. And uh, that way they have to follow, um, you know, what you call uh, subsidies and um, uh, unsubsidized health insurance. If it goes over, then you have to stop buying your own health insurance. But usually our main population is uh, people that are under that federal poverty level. You know, they come and see us. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. In what towns do you service? Oh, well, uh, we mainly serve every town, you know, we have people come out um, from Cape Cod. We had people from the North Shore, South Shore. Mainly sometimes I think because of the language barrier because uh, uh, we do cover um, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, Spanish, English. Uh, we um, sometimes have uh, Arab person that can translate as well. So, but we had people come out from the Cape, come out from uh, the South Shore, the North Shore. As long as you are a Massachusetts resident, uh, you can wow. come and see us. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, good I mean, in, in order to apply for Mass Health and the Health Connector, you have to live in Massachusetts. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Good to know. And also, does JCCHCE do, um, what do they do in the communities? besides the health insurance? Uh, we have partners uh, um, and we sort of like um, collaborate with each other um, pretty much um, like um, we, how can I say, um, um, for the appropriate need. You know, if a family come to us and say, oh, I'm having trouble, uh, you know, with now, now lately with the uh, food. So we have uh, uh, partners with the Alia Family Resource and they do have the food pantries. They have the diaper uh, um, oh. pantry, which they give out that. So we depends on the family needs or, or the individual needs. We sort of like collaborate with each other, you know, try to navigate and, and then direct them in the right directions for, um, you know, the, the, to meet that needs. Okay, yeah. all right. And can anyone volunteer with JCCHCE and what would they be doing? Oh yes, uh, unfortunately with the pandemic now, uh, we do have volunteers in our office, uh, but because of all the, the restrictions that are going on, we are located um, on um, Everest City Hall in the basement, uh, room two. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic and all the restrictions that we have, we not taking any volunteers. But we do have volunteers that will come into our office and they do clerical work, like filing our folders, answering phone, making folders. If we have an event, they can be helping us making the bags. So it's more like clerical work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that. Thing. <laughs> so during the COVID-19, speaking of which, how is JCCHCE handling the clients and the organizations? Um, um, it, it's very difficult it, and it's been very difficult because um, um, you just figure this way. Before we used to have, we have a little room, it is like a waiting room. We used to have sometimes 20 people waiting in there, you know, to be seen. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, 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 it was tough. With the chains now, we're pretty much doing over the phone, uh, through email, and sometimes what we can do is just meeting people outside, you know, of course, keeping a distance, wearing a mask, 
but mainly uh, it's through the phone, through email, and just, you know, over the phone that we mm -hmm. helping out people. Three-way calling sometimes if you need to call, you know, mm -hmm. the Mass Health or the Health Connected. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are some major accomplishments for JCCHCE? Oh, um, I guess uh, from, um, you know, for, throughout the years, because JCCHCE has been um, our organization since 1994, and it started with uh, our um, president, you know, um, director of the board, uh, Jackie Coogan, and she felt the need of uh, the every kids uh, to um, the needed health insurance. So pretty much it started with uh, with the kids uh, from Navarre. And um, we have helped uh, um, over 250,000 uh, individuals, you know, since 1994, directly and indirectly, you know, uh, with their health needs. And uh, like I said, with all the partners and try to designate it, you know, for their uh, needs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> You're no, right. it, it's wonderful. I mean, I think it, uh, I'm very blessed to work for an organization that we're able to provide, you know, um, the work and helping out others, especially mm -hmm. in a time of need. You know, as far as we have a lot of, you know, throughout the years, a lot of testimony of people that mm -hmm. are, are need a health insurance and then they would, didn't know how to navigate the system and they came and see us. and. Um, a lot of, you know, people that actually, you know, we saw it throughout the years that made a change. I have a, um, one of the, my, my um, experience that I had, it. I had this um, Haitian lady that um, came in um, and um, she was uh, um, having chest pain. And she came out to me and she said, oh, um, my mom is having chest pain. And I said, well, I don't think you, you should have wait to be approved. You should have go to the doctor, you know, because uh, can you picture, you know, having a chest pain because you don't have insurance, you don't go to the doctor. So I said, I said to her, I'll take care of her insurance, take your mom to the doctor because, you know, this is very serious and we'll, we'll handle this. Uh, you know, because she didn't know, you know, as a senior, you can uh, um, backdate it three months and it will cover your bills, you know, uh, um, through the mass health, in, you know, your eligibility, you know, we can uh, have three months, you know, what the date. And sure enough, she was having a heart attack and I was like, yeah, so stories like this that, you know, you able to make a, a difference in someone's yeah. life, you know. Um, oh. And we also have a, one of our big events, uh, the Parent uh, University, uh, usually happens in April at the Every High School, which is a workshop uh, that um, we offer for free of charge for parents, and in which has uh, different topics and, and stress, from stress management to CPR, uh, to uh, um, health care, different uh, variety of, of topics, and it's free of charge, and we provide the daycare as long as, you know, it's toilet train and uh, uh, offers uh, breakfast, offers um, lunch, and it's one day of workshop, and we call the parent university. Unfortunately, again, due, you know, to the pandemic this year, mm. <laughs> got canceled, mm. but hopefully we'll be able to, you know, start it again next year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, definitely. That sounds very I exciting know it is that, and yeah. stuff and good for parents yeah. and stuff. So who are the JCCHCE partners and what do they do for the Joint Committee? Oh, we have a, a list on our website. Uh, um, we have the Healthcare for All, the City of, uh, of Everett. Uh, we have the Elia Resource Family. I don't want to leave anyone out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but um, um, we have... Uh, um, a list of partners in our um, organization, and um, uh, we have a, a few on our website. But I, I don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, that's yeah. But um, in um, the YMCA in Malden, uh, mm -hmm. the Cambridge Health Alliance, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the Cubs, um, in all the partners that we have listed, mm -hmm. a few. <laughs> 
Okay, that, uh -huh. that's a lot, and that's nice that they come together and help out. Yes, and yeah, we sort of like, uh, we participate in the health fairs. Uh, um, it, it's, let's say the YMCA is having the outreach, and they reach out to us if we want to, you know, spread, you know, our mission, which, you know, mainly with the health insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's pretty much we collaborate with each other, you know. Uh, right. Yeah, through events. Mm -hmm. And can you please tell us about the grants that are available? Uh, we have a grant available right now. It's the Haymark grant, uh, which you don't have to prove any income. Uh, we have this grant because of uh, um, we apply and we got it, and it do, it's a hundred dollar towards a utility bill, or a gas or electric bill. And um, like I said, you don't have to prove any income. You can go to our website, the jcchce.org, and uh, um, pretty much you just apply, uh, and we give you $100 towards one of your utility bill. Oh. Yeah, we oh, just nice. write a check, no questions asked. It's just the payment is not going to you, the payment is going to your utility, utility. which is you know a national, uh, uh, national grill or, or grid or, or ever source whoever's your yeah. you know um, your utility bill you know you have under the, then we want to make the payments a hundred dollar towards that bill oh, yeah nice. yeah and like I said no questions asked all you have to do is just apply mm. yeah. Unfortunately, your wonderful executive director moved away. Can you please tell us who your new one is? Oh, I know. We'll miss Nicole. We'll miss Nicole. She's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you know, I wish her the best, and uh, you know, her new venture, you know, and down south. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, we have Kathy Vivieros, and uh, uh, she's going to be starting November 1st. And I heard a wonderful things about her. And uh, we are looking forward to have it in our team. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. And what type of outreach do you do, events, et cetera? Uh, we do enrollment uh, our, our rich, which is now, you know, we are not doing anything because unfortunately, you know, due to the pandemic, everything mm -hmm. has changed. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, um, but pretty much that's what we do. We do enrollment and outreach, you know, to, um, seniors, uh, um, the community, you know, uh, try to reach families and, and you know, to uh, help enroll, renew their health insurance. Mm -hmm. So right now you don't have anything, um, no dates planned? No, we don't have any dates just planned have... just because, you know, it has to be mm -hmm. uh, um, the six feet uh, distance uh, and plus, you know, mm -hmm. small groups. So right. when we have our reach, sometimes we have over a hundred people right. <laughs> yeah mm. and it's, so it's quite a hard <laughs> yes. mm. yeah unfortunately yeah hopefully, hopefully it will change yeah, hopefully, hopefully it will change so, sooner than later yeah, yeah i know um and sandra is there anything else that you would like to add about jcc hc um i just want to add now that uh um I want to reach out and, and I, again, I want to say thank you for having me here. And unfortunately, due to a lot of people losing their jobs, uh, if they want to reach out to us, you know, we can help them uh, apply for their health coverage because a lot of people along losing their jobs mm -hmm. also uh, lost that uh, health coverage. Mm -hmm. And we can help them, you know, apply for health insurance. And, and thank you you know, for letting me spread the news because mm -hmm. during this pandemic, you know, it's hard because once you lose your job, now you're losing your health coverage. So this right. is one of the things that I, I mainly want to say, you know, and also with the open enrollment, because we, uh, I, as navigators, we going to have the open enrollment uh, starting November 1st. Um, and it's just for people to enroll. Know this is the time if you want to change your health insurance. Uh, mm -hmm. So whoever our um, navigate, you know, um, with the Affordable Care Act or the health um, connector, uh, the open enrollment start opening now, November first, and that's when you can pick a plan, change a plan, you know, make changes on your uh, um, your account. And again, if you have a qualifying event. 
uh, that you can apply for health insurance throughout the year, like a divorce or a loss of a job or, or anything that can happen, it's considered a qualified event, that it doesn't affect those people, they can apply throughout the year, but open enrollment starting now November 1st with the Health Connector. And uh, again, about the Haymarket uh, grant, uh, who have, until we have it, and you know, until the money runs out, we, we're given the $100 towards the bill. Nice. The utility Good. bill. All okay. Right. All right. And Sandra, if anyone has any questions, can you please give us a contact info? Uh, we are located at Everest City Hall, uh, room two in the basement. Uh, um, again, we have various sites. We have the Scalabrini Center which is in Everett, uh, uh, San Anthony Church, uh, which um, they also uh, see people there. We have uh, the uh, Madonna Queen, the East Boston, which also, will, you know, it's one of our sites. And I believe in Framingham, they have one site. And our main number is 617-394-2414. And they can also reach us at our jcchce.org which is our uh, website. Okay, okay, great. I'm sorry, but that's all the time that we have. Thank you for all you do for those in need. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Please send them to lifeissuestv at gmail.com. And remember, live each day to the fullest and celebrate life.